The Department of Psychiatry here at the University of Melbourne is a spectacular place to work. Not only is the University of Melbourne uh, number one university in Australia, but the medical school is the, ranked the 16th in the world. We here at the Department of Psychiatry at the University of Melbourne believe that uh, mental health research across the lifespan is critical. We're beginning to understand how events that occur at one part in your life can affect outcomes in another part. We know that stress, anxiety and depression during pregnancy has effects on the baby both in the early few months but also through childhood and into adolescence. If we can intervene in that early time when mum is pregnant, we can make a big difference for the baby, the child's long-term outcome. And then couple that with research, particularly interdisciplinary research, where we bring together uh, mental health professionals, obstetricians, paediatricians, uh, basic scientists, pool our resources and design interventional approaches. Childhood and adolescence is a key phase in terms of um, some of the disorders that we're examining, uh, such as schizophrenia and depression, many of which begin in adolescence and early adulthood. And in thinking about how to understand these disorders, to understand what's going on in the brain of these disorders, we really need to place these within a context, within a uh, brain maturational context. We've been undertaking brain scanning and also looking at brain function. Our group has been the first to identify brain changes occurring actively as people develop these disorders for the first time. So trying to understand what's going on early, trying to intervene early, may be an important way to delay the onset or even prevent the onset of these illnesses. The Department of Psychiatry uh, has a significant focus in the area of post-traumatic stress disorder and mental health disorders following trauma more generally. And this is particularly represented through the work of our centre, the Australian Centre for Post-Traumatic Mental Health. Our research with trauma-affected groups takes a range of forms. So we do a lot of longitudinal research that's looking at the course of the disorder, factors associated with risk and vulnerability for the development of disorder. Uh, we do programs of research around assessment and screening as well as programs around innovations in intervention for trauma survivors. The global figures for mental health problems in adulthood are staggering. Mental health and related problems account for 13% of the total global disease burden. More than 450 million people worldwide suffer from mental health problems. Given the enormity of the crisis, our department needed to form a consortium of partners with complementary skills, knowledge and high-level networks to allow us to successfully engage stakeholders in the region. Asia Australian Mental Health, or AAMH, of which I'm a co-director, was established in 2003 to enhance mental health services in Asia-Pacific through education, training and research partnerships. We have to really support people in their ageing process um, to stay as healthy as possible regarding their mental health. Um, and so our department is really keen on contributing to that challenge. And there are sort of two main areas to it. One is the treatment of existing symptoms of mental illness but also we want to prevent ideally these conditions and that is a very interesting challenge because it means that um, for this to be successful, we should not start in old age, but start across the lifespan, which is obviously also the theme of the department. The secret to the department's success is a sense of common purpose and cohesion amongst the researchers in the department. We all believe that if we work together, we'll make a much greater effect and improve the quality of life of our patients. I'm really proud as the Head of Department of Psychiatry at the University of Melbourne to say that we've got some of the brightest psychiatric researchers that you could get internationally and across the globe. And we work with some of the top institutions and research centres and hospitals throughout the world. Despite the achievement of our department, we are only barely scratching the surface of what needs to be done. We are always looking for interested collaborators that have similar research interests as well as similar approaches to collaborate in the region to tackle this enormous crisis facing us today.